Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about what should be the first tool you buy when building a woodworking business or doing woodworking as a hobby. And I'm also going to tell you what I think honestly are the two most important tools you should buy but if you can't afford to buy both of them I'm going to tell you what tool you should buy first and the reasons why. If that's something that interests you, stick around because we're about to get started. All right, here we are in the back of my wood shop and I would say one of the most important things that you should buy when starting out woodworking and or a woodworking business is a table saw. Now a table saw is a very versatile tool that you can have in your shop to make tons of different things. You can make sleds, those are jigs, and all sorts of things to do really cool fancy cuts on a table saw. However, you need to look at a few things when you're shopping around for a table saw. And I would say one of the most important things is a fence. You need your fence to be very solid. You don't want it to flex, move, bend, do anything. Once you lock this down, you want it to stay locked down exactly where you put it. And that will allow you to get really good clean cuts. The second thing to kind of consider when you're looking at table saws is how big and what does your space allow for you in your shop. This is called a cabinet saw because it doesn't move. It just sits here in my shop and it's not portable. They make uh, another type of table saw that they consider like a contractor grade or contractor version and they're wonderful table saws but they can just be picked up and moved to job sites. Now there's really no difference, they each they, they have their pros and cons, and I'm not going to go too much into detail on this video about contractor, cabinet, and professional you know, versions of table saws because that's not the point. The point is you need to really look at a table saw when you're starting out that has a really solid fence and that fits your space. Now I'm going to talk a second about... Um, a specific brand here and this is no endorsement it's just something to consider that safety is very important when working around these type of machines uh, and you don't want to cut anything and safety is very important there's a company out there called SawStop. they're wonderful I don't have any of their products yet it's something on my wish list to get um, but saw stop makes a saw where if your hand comes in contact with the spinning blade uh, it automatically stops and prevents serious injury now they have three main types of uh, table saws one's a contractor one's like a professional one's like a pro end when I first started in woodworking they didn't have their contractor version of their saw and so I couldn't afford their uh, middle or high-end uh, table saws. So I went with this one right here. This is a Grizzly table saw. I love it. It's been great for me. I've had it for five years and I have no problems with it. I have to be very careful though with safety and working around this spinning blade. Now you should always be safe when you're working around uh, power tools and turning blades. However, SawStop makes uh, their contractor version I think about the same price point as this table saw was when I got it. Now that's something you want to consider as your budget so and safety. So I'll put a link in the description on what my table saw is and a link to uh, saw stops table just so you can take a look at it. Here I'm not trying to endorse anybody I'm just telling you from my own experience if I had to start all over again and had a limited budget I probably would just forego the cabinets uh, table saw even though it's a little bit larger and heavier and I probably would have gone with the contractor version of a saw stop just because of that additional safety and once I got comfortable around the table saw and my business was starting to pick up I would take that money and reinvest in a, a larger cabinet saw. Alright well now let's move on to what I think is another great thing that you need to have when starting your business or woodworking shop. Let's go take a look at our second tool. Alright here we are. One of the other really important tools you should have in your shop is a miter saw or a chop saw. Uh, I call this usually a miter saw but people call them whatever they want. What's important are the features that you have. It's not about the brand or the make and the model. You know, I can review this product later and tell you all about it, the goods and the bads and the uglies. 
Uh, but for now, let's talk about the features. One feature you really want to look at in getting a chop saw or a miter saw is that it can cut a 45 degree angle on either the left side or the right side. This one allows me to flip the blade to the right or to the left. The other really important thing is that it has a slide that can go all the way out. This one has a little glide mechanism and that's what makes this uh, version very special because I can push it up against the wall for a very tight, short, compact space. They make other ones with rails that do the same thing, but they take up a little bit more space and you need to have a lot more depth to your table that you're working on. The other important thing, and I would say probably this is the most important thing, is that you want to get a 12 inch blade. Don't go with a 10 inch or smaller, you know, you will regret it. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say, oh, I regretted having that 12 inch miter saw, chop saw, you know, it's just too big. You'll never regret it, I promise you. So make sure that you get a 12 inch version that it can turn 45 degrees in both directions and that you're able to slide out as far as you can. Now, it doesn't matter whether you buy this brand or some other brand, just make sure that it has those features. All right, well, let's go over here and let's talk about if you're on a budget, what tool should you buy first? All right, so we just talked about the two most important tools that you should have in your wood shop. And here comes the last question that I get. Philip, I only have money to buy one tool and I want to start doing woodworking. What is the first tool and the most important tool that I should buy for my shop? And I have the answer for you. And the answer is you should buy a table saw. The reason why is a table saw can do almost everything the chop saw or the miter saw can with a few exceptions. You may have to build a few extra jigs to achieve those cuts, spend a little bit more time setting things up, and have a little bit more patience, but all that can be done on a table saw. If you have the budget and your money allows, get both of them. But if not, get the table saw, you won't regret it. If you have any comments or questions about this, please post them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button for me, even destroy the like button, because that'll help others find this video and it helps me out. All right guys, till next time, I'll see you later.